I am learning to be grateful for each moment. But I am well aware that this today will very quickly join the history class full of yesterdays. So friends, before it does, allow me to share something with you. Time. It can fly and promises to heal all of our wounds. We try to make it, save it, kill it, and there is never enough of it. Time is what stops everything from happening all at once. Making sense of past through to present into future, it's later and it's sooner time, is what measures the duration of pain and of joy and of everything in between. It's awful, but it's lovely, it's gracious, and then it's mean time is like the wind. It lifts the light to float with it while leaving the heavy to curse the rushing breeze. And I'm even convinced that time stops when you really have to <laughs> sneeze. Time, it seems to rule all aspects of our lives and has been the endless fascination for every creed and nation throughout all of time. It seems to vary from place to place, but personally I have yet to face a space where it does not intermingle and interlace itself into everything. And the mysterious thing is that time is completely personal, but then entirely public. Each second ascribed solely to you. But that self-same moment is for the rest of us too. So it doesn't matter who you are or what you pursue. Time does not discriminate. So do not misconstrue. We all face life at 60 minutes an hour. And then time seems to pester only man. Because bird and bee seem so free from the tick-tock time bomb mentality that plagues you and me. You see, a hummingbird can flap its wings 90 times in a single second. Those wings are spun of silver, emerald and gold and these tiny little creatures are hearts to behold with angelic features and colors so bright they propel imagination to a new delight and there is magic in the way that they flit through the sky. They appear and they vanish in the blink of an eye but if you think that's impressive friend then consider the fly. Because those buzzing buggers beat their wings more than 1,000 times a second. Now, I'm no fan of a fly, but none can deny that that is pretty impressive. But then it also makes sense. Because the average mayfly has a lifespan of little more than 30 minutes. And if I were ever limited to such extent, I could only ever be content by cramming every minute with 60 seconds well spent. And so that begs the question, how are you spending your time? Allow me to suggest that you stop. Stop waiting for some dream day when you'll get your fresh start. Let loose the wild things you keep locked up in your heart and stop hoping to make it if you do nothing about trying because we're all headed towards death. So what are you doing about dying? Stop talking about killing time while well, time quietly kills you. Talk is cheap. And every second is as precious as life itself. And so my friends, thank you for spending a little bit of your life on me.